Youth runner here with uh, Kiefer Wilcox from Tahoe Truckee, 1530 in the uh, boys small school race. We're at the 45th ASIC School of Us Invitational at Woodward Park. Always great to see uh, the elite Nevada athletes uh, coming here to Fresno. Uh, obviously, I know that, that you guys really want to take advantage not only of the competition, but uh, but uh, but of the course. Obviously, favorable weather this morning is uh, is always a blessing. So, what uh, what are the first reactions? What are the emotions? Um, it was super fun. It's a great course to go fast on. Uh, that, that last mile actually feels kind of good because it's kind of downhill. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a good race. Had some great runners in there. Um, it's a lot hotter than Tahoe, but uh, it was it was fun. It's nice to be at sea level now instead of six thousand feet. So Most definitely. Yeah. Exactly. Huh? How, how, how much uh, do you do you guys uh, really emphasize that aspect of a keeper? Because I mean, you know, obviously, so many people want to focus on, you know, Flagstaff or Utah or aspects of Colorado, and it's like, wait a second, these guys are training at, at exactly. six thousand as well. Like, just when you get out here, even for like your strides and your warm up today, you know, I just what does it feel like? Just you know, having more expansion, you know, in, in the lungs and allowing your body to respond the way you want to in the last mile. It, it, it just feels great. Like, even on easy runs here, like in our warm-up, uh, I just felt so easy. It's like my, my legs feel like lightning. I feel great. Um, and then, obviously, in the first mile, I, I looked down and I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine now. Um, so it, it definitely makes a difference, especially in those first stages of the race, to say, calm and composed um, and not to get, not, not your heart rate get too high. Um, so it is it's great, and our coach is definitely take advantage of it and having us come down to these races it, it shows how solid of a team we are and, and how hard we train up there. Most definitely. Obviously the, uh, the goal for any of the elite California athletes that you're competing against is for this to be a dress rehearsal for them exactly. you know, to come back on, uh, on November 30th. Uh, how, how do you hope this sets you up for, uh, for the second half of, uh, of the schedule for you and you know getting ready for the postseason in Nevada and you know whether after that whether it's Nike Southwest whether it's you know Foot Locker West it could be both mm -hmm. you know but just how do you hope that this applies now like you know, what 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 kind of reassurance or what affirmation does Keeper Wilcox take from today? Um, it just gives me tons of confidence going into the postseason. I know I can definitely win a state title. I know our team can win a state title. And just taking that confidence from this, from this meet and knowing that we can run fast and can run those great times. Um, and also, it's, it helps me see who I'm running against at NXR yep. um, and lets me know that I do have a chance and I can't beat them. So. Most definitely. I mean, obviously, you're one of the, uh, the elite athletes uh, in Nevada. Every single one of those guys that was in that top you know, uh, three, four, five, I mean, you know, Ollie's going to be one of the top contenders for, uh, you know, in, in, in his division. You know, Mc, uh, McBride from from Redwood, you know, uh, Martin from San Fran, all those guys are going to be there. I mean, again, you, I mean, you can only be the best version of Keeper Wilcox, but knowing that regardless of what division, you know, you potentially would be slotted in, like in a hypothetical scenario in California, to know that you would match up with all of those guys, you know, at, uh, at, at you know, the highest level in their state championships, like, is, is that reassuring for you? It, it is definitely reassuring because, you know, I, I follow those guys on social media and just kind of races and I keep, keep up with their times and it's always nice to see that I do stack up with them because um, they are obviously great runners um, and they have a great future ahead of them. So, um, and it's, it's, it's great to meet them too and it really reassures me that I can, you know, win in Nevada but also can win here. Most definitely. Last thing, speaking of Nevada, I don't think people really truly understand unless they live in the state like how special a time it is for the especially for the male distance athletes right now in, in your state I mean I, I don't have to share with you the programs but obviously for the people that may not be as educated as Keeper Wilcox is I mean obviously not only your program but certainly with Faith Lutheran and Shadow Ridge and Somerset and you know even with you know Mordecai doing his thing out of Moapa I mean like just how meaningful is it for you that like we can't have that conversation in really truly one of the golden eras in your state without including Kiefer Wilcox? Like, it, how much does that mean to you? It means so much. It means you know people overlook California and Texas, Florida. They're like, oh, these states are the only good running states. But I mean, Nevada shows up for sure. We we show up. We did great at Woodbridge, um, and I know all of us are going to show up at states, and all of us are going to do great at NXR. So it is nice, and it casts you get a little bit um, confidence and, and kind of pride that. Even though it is California, and they are the big dogs, but we can still get yeah. with them. Sure. You guys are going to show up at Woodward Park yeah. and represent all the same. Exactly. 1530 uh, runner-up for Keeper Wilcox in the boys' small school race at the 45th Ace of Scovis Invitational. Big things on the horizon, however, for him uh, and the Truckee group. Uh, stay healthy. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.